Hello, I'm just doing a review on Halloween 5. The Revenge of Michael Myers. <sighs> to me, this is a start on the biggest fuck ups in the series. It start this this is where the movie starts. It's where the franchise started. It's where the films got awful and got worse. And that's why they're not making another one. <laughs> because these films, these five, six, eight, the remake of number two, and terrible, just terrible. I'll be focusing on them, but I already focus on Halloween too, because I did a big rant on it. But I'm gonna focus on the originals, Black Sheep. So that the originals were awful as hell. Oh yeah, I've got to tell you something, you know the light comes into the camera, I'm sorry about that, that's how it is with my videos, if you don't like it, don't watch my videos, what, what, no one don't really does anyway, but, okay, it's just like in June, it is, yeah, there's this, I just got the older copy of this, because I don't want it on Blu-ray and all that shit, because it doesn't even deserve a Blu-ray in my opinion, special features on this is widescreen, Presentation, uh, nothing really important about Halloween 5. Inside Halloween 5 feature trailer, original Mono soundtrack, Introdu introductions by stars Daniel Harris and Ellie Connell. Inside Halloween 5 documentary featuring Roll, where behind the scenes footage and cut scenes and interviews with Daniel Harris, Ellie Connell. Exhibition producer Mr. Farrakhan, cinematographer Robert Draper, and Don Shanks, who played Michael Myers. Okay, let's start. Let's first start this. I hate this fucking movie, as you can tell. I thought it was annoying, gay, and a piece of shit, in my opinion. And it deserves all the hatred that it gets. A lot of people say, a lot of people, pe a lot of people I watch say, Dylan, it's not that bad, or it's a, it's nothing special, but it's not that bad as you think it is. And I totally disagree. It's just as worse as this motherfucker. This piece of shit. And the time was the same about these two. These two had Donald Pleasance in both of them, and he died making that one. He made a shitty. He died for making a shitty fucking film. He showed an H two O. Fuck these two movies. And you know what? I'm gonna give credit to this film. It's entertaining. This, these two films are not fucking entertaining. They're fucking awful, and they deserve the hatred. And a lot of Halloween fans like this one. I'll just get into this when I do the next review. But this film is everybody hate this film. Everybody. People The highest point that people give it is it's alright. Mediocre. This one's a piece of fucking shit. It's a piece of shit. It's a big letdown to Halloween 4. Halloween 4. Right there. A big fucking letdown. No, they had to ruin. The franchise watching a sequel because Halloween 4 was a big hit and ruin everything. Jamie is a mute for the most of the fucking film. Donald Pleasance is a good performance, but Dr. Loomis, the character, is a let down. He's a he's an asshole. He's a big fucking asshole. He's an asshole. This Michael Myers is even more. Like even more of a retard than it is in number four and six, but in, in number four, at least number four was decent, and the mask was way better than that that piece of shit. Look at that mask. Look like I just had a shit on it, and they washed it with a it's the fucking ass that looked like it to me. They have a fucking no, uh, yeah, yeah. Ali Cornell gets killed in the first. Freaking twenty, the first twenty minutes of the fucking film. <sighs> okay. And it, 
and and these films they like killing the most beloved characters like in this one they killed Jamie Lloyd her they killed fucking her and they killed Jamie Lloyd Curtis in this one you know what I recommend a video to you go on film master on him put in and put in Halloween, the epic film fail, fail, like 40 minutes long of all the Halloween films, that from one, and Rob Zombie's Halloween. He pissed the shit out of most of the film, most of the films in the series, and I, I agree with everything what he says with, about the films. The films are, this film is fucking awful! Now, I haven't even got to the story yet. Basically, it's about Michael mate, like just coming back, trying to kill Jamie, finish his bloodline, Dr. Loomis being an asshole, Chef Mika doing jack shit, and, and, when, and, look, look at this fucking tagline. Michael Myers, Michael lives, and this time they're ready. Ready for what? Ready for fucking what? Ready for that dick to grow? Ready for to have sex or something? What? Cause the cops don't even know it's until the middle of the fucking movie. They don't expect my going to kill because playing in this freaking film. In this fucking film. And, and, and when they do find out, they leave Jamie in the fucking house. With Loomis and a c and two cops, two cops. Can okay, I explain this to you? Two cops and an old man against Michael Myers. Think about that for a second. You can pretty much tell that he can kill three people, three people at once. Come on, he's unstoppable for fuck's sake. Like I said before, this film is a really big letdown to that awesome Halloween 4. It may, nearly made me want to cry, made me want to commit suicide. Fucking suicide. And I would rather to watch it this fucking film. And this film can kiss my butt. As far as I'm concerned. I gotta save that frisbee throw later. You know what? I'm going to give a homage to Rambo Well for Life. It fucking sucks. It is the worst, one of the worst fucking films, one of, first, one of the worst fucking horror movies i ever seen in my fucking entire life. So, don't watch this, guys. If you're a horror fan, or you just like, or you just like the Halloween films in general. You just got into the film. Just watch like one, two, three, and four. Do watch this fucking movie. Ignore, ignore five and six. And watch H two O. But that means you have to ignore number four. That's why I hate these fucking movies so much because they ignore fucking. They make Halloween four like a piece of shit. They made Halloween 7, they turned Halloween 7, a direct sequel to Halloween 2. So that means you ignore number 4, and number 3 was pretty fucking decent. I disagree with the film Master Adam, but it's his opinion, so I'm going to respect that. But, because of these fucking films, they had to restart to number 2, and made these and check these movies. Well, that's it for now. Let me do. I will do a review on this fucking piece of shit of a fucking movie. And this film, I guess it, it's a it's an abomination to the Halloween franchise. Nearly as worse as fucking Halloween to the remake. And it makes me every time I want to say it, it makes me want to. I feel like being sick. 
<sighs> See, that was fucking funny. That's a bad sign. This movie is a piece of shit. It belongs into the fucking hell. I bet you, if God lo if God dies, and if God doesn't exist, this will be the freaking devil. If devil will walk the earth and he was about to die, this fucking film will take the place along with Halloween 2. And see you later. I know, I know, I'm giving you a headache, but that's what I think about the film. And this is my opinion, so... If you disagree with me, don't give me don't give me a hate comment, please. It's only me, my opinion, okay, bro. So see you later, guys, and see you fucking later.